know that vi essentially all viruses do mutate. Um, if you think about it, it's similar to how um, even human beings sort of evolve from one generation to another. You know, we don't, ha we're not, you know, exact copies of our parents, for example. So it's a little bit the same with viruses, but it's sped up because they produce so much more virus with any round of sort of um, reproducing itself. And in that process, they mutate, they change. And some of the changes that happen can make the viruses more transmissible, so more infectious. Sometimes they make the viruses less infectious, less fit, sort of less robust. Um, and, but the, t the ones that tend to have a mutation that changes it and gives it some sort of fitness advantage, if you will, are the ones that tend to um, expand and become more prominent and, and um, go on to lead to more cases. And that's exactly what we're seeing with the Delta variant. It is hyper-infectious. It is easier to catch Delta variant than it was to catch previous variants. And there's some data that it may make people sicker. That's hard to really determine, but it does look like some of the newer variants can be more dangerous than the virus we saw before. And that makes sense because these variants, the ones that are able to spread from persons to person best are the ones that can evade our immune systems. You know, if our immune system attacks the virus, it gets rid of it. So there might be some mutations that let, you know, survival of the fittest, that lets some variants, some virus, do well, despite our immune system. It's just a hardier virus. And that's what we see. It's a hardier virus, so you get higher levels and you shed it longer. And so you can see how some people could get sicker because there's more virus around too. What's great about the, the studies um, with all of the COVID-19 vaccine is they are testing the efficacy of the vaccines to these variants, including the Delta variant. Um, and what we see is that the vaccines are 100% effective in preventing severe disease related to COVID-19 and um, death. So getting vaccinated, even if you're exposed to this new variant, means that you're substantially less likely to get severely ill, have to go into the hospital, and, and less likely to die. 99% of the people who are hospitalized now in the United States with COVID-19, these are people sucking air. They're trying to get their breath. They can't get enough oxygen. These are sick people. 99% of them are unvaccinated. So it's the unvaccinated that are really vulnerable to the Delta variant. The vaccine doesn't persist in the body. It gets broken down and it's gone. Um, what persists is your immune response that protects you from getting infected, one, but also from getting severely ill and also from death if you require the virus. The vaccine itself gets broken down. Um, the mRNA is in your cells anyway. It's how our cells make more proteins. Um, and our normal processes in our cells, the mRNA gets broken down after it's done its job. Um, it's the same for these vaccines. The mRNA gets broken down, it doesn't persist in the body. I think people who are maybe hesitant or skeptical of the vaccines really have to trust and respect the 183 million people who've been vaccinated in this country. 183 million of your fellow Americans have decided to get vaccinated and their testimony and their experience, we should acknowledge and respect. These people made a choice, even some early on when we had less data. And you know what? It's safe and effective. Those are people who are not getting sick with COVID-19. These are millions and millions of people who've had no adverse effects at all. Of course, we're always concerned about the very, very small number of people who may have a severe adverse effect, like we are with any vaccine. Every single vaccine can cause a severe effect. There are people who've taken penicillin and got really bad allergic reactions. That doesn't mean we don't use penicillin. That doesn't mean if you have an infection, you're not gonna take penicillin because somebody once had a really severe, terrible, catastrophic outcome because they took penicillin. There are people who've taken aspirin and died, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna take aspirin. So we've gotta put this in context. 
It's not a bulletproof vest. It's not a plastic coating, you know, the vaccines that prevent the virus from getting into you. What, what the vaccines do is, so when the virus does get into you, you react. So it's not impossible that maybe somebody gets infected who's vaccinated. In fact, we expect that to happen. That's what the vaccines are for. But it will really abbreviate the time period, shorten the time period that that person really could infect others. And maybe, we don't know this for sure, but maybe even prevent spread completely if people have a really good response. Communities are opening up, people are getting out, they're you know, intermingling. The, the Delta variant is more contagious. So I, I really hope people will hear the message that getting vaccinated is really important. We don't want to backtrack with having to go in lockdown. We want our kids to be able to go to school. We want businesses to be able to reopen up, people who are unemployed to be able to get back to work. I mean, all of this is so important. Um, and it would just be a shame uh, for people to get sick, to get in the hospital when it's preventable. These vaccines have saved, at this point, millions of lives. And you know, the people who haven't been vaccinated, please hear me, that they're able to save yours and, and the people around you.